is your First Alert 5 weather with Sam Schreier. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I was just zoomed in over a thunderstorm cell on the east side of Colorado Springs. This is Highway 94 centered, Highway 24 centered, basically right over Falcon. It was producing pea-sized hail as it traveled across uh, the east side of Colorado Springs. But currently, it's basically kind of locked over into the plains. So what we can try to do is maybe draw a 3D vertical of this storm, get a depth in this thing. It looks like maybe the core of the system is trying to get up to about 10,000 feet. So that tells me, just as a meteorologist, maybe not the strongest storm ever. But we're getting into that time of year where these are going to pack a punch. So on live radar, we've got the low pressure system circulating over southeast Colorado. That's a little bit more concerning because that tends to mean more snow and I've updated some totals a little bit. We're getting a snow to fall and stick to the ground at Fort Collins. That just means it's on the way down. That very cold air is rushing in behind the cold front. We're getting a very good rain across the springs, but that storm tapping into the energy we built up from this morning. And yes, it is going to track in towards Callahan, possibly dropping up to maybe a uh, half inch size hail, which is not severe, but it is definitely something we'll watch for. There is also lightning going on out there, out east of Co Colorado Springs, excuse me. So be careful and maybe just up and around the Palmer Hill, so Palmer Divide, Monument Hill, some snow mixed in with rain. Andy Cohen was saying he was seeing a little bit of both, much more scattered and light precept down to the south. So in our hour by hour, it actually understood that there was a little stronger storm on the east side of Colorado Springs with mostly a rain over Monument Hill. Now as we go through the hours here, by two o'clock, that's when we start to see, start to see that transition of more of a snow over Monument Hill. By three, it should be snowing on Monument Hill. By 3.30 to four, it's moving into the north side of Colorado Springs. By five, it's moving its way down towards downtown. This is snow. And then by six, it's through Colorado Springs, kind of heading in south of El Paso County towards Pueblo. So through the rest of the night, we will essentially just turn all the rest of this rain into snowfall. It looks heavier in the Raton Mesa area. So Walsenburg, Trinidad, I've raised your totals from this morning and we will eventually pull that snow to the plains. Keep in mind everyone, all of the snow is coming with 50 to 70 mile per hour gusting winds. Sustained winds slower than that, but the gusts will be strong and we do clear things up pretty quickly around the springs to the east, also to Pueblo overnight tonight, but we keep snow going over Monument Hill longer. So as far as larger area totals, Monument Hill haven't moved it around too much. Colorado Springs zero to four inches Let's dive deeper into that and see what you mean. We've got way less snow expected towards downtown, but still around an inch or so now looks a bit more likely. We are going to have more snow up towards the Monument Hill Woodland Park area, and this will be blowing around. Pueblo from Canyon City to Pueblo, not very much, but blowing snow, hard to drive conditions tonight. That's Southern I-25 corridor, Walsenburg to Trinidad between two to five inches of snowfall, very nasty to drive through. And finally, the plains tonight, that wind blows with this light snow and it makes visibility terrible. So the Colorado Springs seven day, we are going to see the snow stop tonight. Maybe some flurries left over tomorrow morning. Two on that storm impact scale for Thursday because it'll be cold, windy, and it'll be nasty still on some of the roads. But we do get a little bit better towards Sunday and Monday, even though Friday night to Saturday morning, there is some more snow in the forecast. Probably you get blowing snow overnight, really just windy tomorrow. There's probably not much to worry about with some more snow possible Friday night into Saturday morning. Canyon City, you get the least impact out of this. Tonight you see some blowing snow, you see some wind, but not as much as everyone else. More snow as possible Friday night to Saturday warmer towards the weekend. Finally, Woodland Park, we are going to see snow. It's going to be heavy. It's going to finish off Thursday morning and then more snow Friday night to Saturday.